Chris has a freshly prepared aliquot of his sample. In this experiment, he wants to evaluate the effect of a drug treatment on cell cycle. He will use a propydium iodide staining solution with RNAs to identify stages of the cell cycle in a population. Transfer the cells into conical tubes and wash them in DPBS. Place the tubes on ice. Remove the DPBS and slowly resuspend cells in ice cold 70% ethanol to 1 million to 5 million cells per milliliter. To ensure single cell suspension of fixed cells, begin adding 70% ethanol very slowly, drop wise, while gently vortexing. It is very important that cells are fixed into a single cell suspension. Cells tend to clump during the fixation step. The very slow drop-wise addition of the initial volume of 70% ethanol, first 1 milliliter, while gently vortexing, will help prevent cells from clumping. Place cells at minus 20 degrees C overnight. These cells can be kept for weeks at minus 20 degrees C before staining and analysis. The papidium iodide solution is used to identify stages of the cell cycle in a population. This assay works well on cell suspensions containing from about 1 million to about 5 million cells per milliliter, so the concentration doesn't need to be exact. Resuspend the cells in 500 microliters of the papidium iodide solution. Incubate at room temperature in the dark for 30 minutes. The sample is now ready to be analysed in the tally instrument. Simply pipette 25 microliters of the sample into one of the slide chambers. Load the slide into the slide port with the chamber containing the sample facing away from the instrument. Use the touch screen, touch the cell cycle button. Follow the prompts to name your sample series. You can name the samples now or you'll have opportunities later. Now touch the press to insert sample button on the screen. Your sample will be drawn into the instrument and you'll be shown a live view of your cells. When prompted, focus the cells using the image adjustment knob on the right side of the instrument. Correctly focused images have uniformly dark coloured cells surrounded by bright halos. To specify the number of fields of view to capture, touch the arrow button on the Number of Images to Capture drop down menu and select from the available options. The more fields of view analysed, the more powerful the statistical analysis. Touch, press to run sample. After analysis, the tally automatically ejects the slide and provides data from the analysis of the captured images in the sample tab. The cell cycle assay specific data includes the number of cells counted, total cell concentration and cell concentration within each gated region, as well as the histograms for cell size and propydium iodide fluorescence distribution. The results can also be visually confirmed by examining the images of the captured fields of view. The cell cycle assay on the tally allows simple yet powerful analysis of the stages of cell cycle within a population. The threshold gates for each cell cycle phase can be set in three ways. 1. Tap to select one of the three threshold bars, the grey vertical bars on the histogram. The selected threshold bar will turn from grey to blue. Tap on arrows at the bottom of the histogram to move the threshold bar. Two. Tap to select one of the three threshold bars. The selected threshold bar will turn from grey to blue. Drag the threshold bar to the desired location. Number three. Tap on the numbers under RFU threshold. A pop-up keyboard will appear and values can be entered manually. Data can also be exported as an FCS file for further analysis with flow cytometry software.
The small yet powerful Tally image-based cytometer offers quantitative analysis with visual confirmation, making it ideal for fast and simple cell analysis. For more information on the Tally image-based cytometer, visit lifetechnologies.com forward stroke Tally. Thank you.